became known to your enemies and caused the nations to quake before you. For when you did awesome things that we did not expect, you came down and the mountains trembled before you. Since ancient times, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eyes has seen any God besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, as we wait upon the Lord our God and call upon his name, we're looking forward that the Lord will come and he will reign in our world in a mighty way. We are praying for a mighty wave of the spirit across the nations of the world. Amen. So as we gather for the time of intercession, let our hearts be lifted unto our God. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are certain that the Lord will hear us and will do beyond even our expectation. For this evening we have Mrs. Barbara Saturday, Dickness Barbara Saturday from Burma come to lead the period of adoration. It will then be followed at the first intercession led by Apostle Joseph Fensaki from Canada. And then Pastor Pascal Asiedu, Piano Beauty, Wells Hills will continue. And then will climax our intercession by Pastor Ajayi Makundakwa, Kanishin District. He will climax the intercession for us this time. Let our hearts be lifted to our God, trusting his presence in our midst, even as we install a door and lift him up as Dickness Barbara Saturday leads us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. the one who owns this universe up above the heavens here on earth and beneath the earth hallelujah Amen. we take a scripture reading from first chronicles 29 10 and 11 i'm reading from the niv david praised the lord in the presence of the whole assembly saying praise be to you lord the God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, yours, Lord, yes. is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in the heaven and the earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are, exto you are exalted as head of our all. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, tonight, we we'll glorify our God, we we'll praise his greatness for his glory, his majesty, and splendor is awesome to bestow. So if you shall, I'll beg of you that with one accord you join me as we worship our Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Shira ni enyonya eni nya sania sita o ni ni jini tu mi o. Oh, yeah. 
Oh God, there is none like you. You reign supreme. You are great above all gods. Tonight, oh God, we bless you. We adore you. We extol you. Be thou exalted now and forevermore. In the name of our Lord Christ Jesus, have we worshipped. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Join up with Apostle Joseph Fensaki. Canada. He shall come in the west and rejoice in holy of your some powers sun shall follow 
for this privilege to lead the first session of this prayer, intercessory prayer. And we want to thank God for gathering us to shake the heavens and to open the heavens by prayer and intercession tonight. We are focusing our prayer on three topics. The first one, we are praying for the outpouring of the Holy Ghost for global revival through Empower 21 and other gatherings of the church we also want to pray for the church to arise as a mighty force to transform the nations with christocentric values finally we are going to pray for open doors for our mission churches to make maximum impact so tonight this uh, uh the focus we have for our prayer meeting now for our first uh, topic, we want, to, um, we want to read from Acts chapter 2 verse 17. Acts 2 verse 17. Here's the version of the Bible. And in the last days it shall be, God declares that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions, and your, young, and your old men shall dream dreams. Up chapter 1 verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea, Samaria, in a, and, and, the ends, and to the ends of the earth. Brethren, we want to pray for the, a mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The church will then be able to go out and preach the gospel in power. There will be genuine conviction and repentance and a harvest of souls. Or oh, the church will be able to serve in power and in the manifestation of the giftings of the Holy Spirit. The church will be able to live in righteousness and holiness. We need fresh fire tonight. We need fresh oil. We need a fresh wind from heaven to blow through the church globally. We need revival. We need the latter rain. Shall we lift up our voices, you and me, that our fervent prayer tonight will open the heavens for the onslaught of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit from coast to coast to coast. In the name of Jesus, why don't you lift up prayer with me? Shall we begin to pray? Sotariana, Emma Shantarabakaya, it is a cry of our heart tonight. Emma 
Sotaria, that you open the heavens, O Lord, that you open the heavens, O Lord, for an upon of the Holy Ghost, let us do Sabaya, the signs and wonders, O Lord, powerful manifestation of God in the name of Jesus, of the Lord, and I'm not talking about the Hallelujah! Let us 
says in Matthew chapter 5, 13 and 14, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown down <clears throat> and trampled down uh, uh, under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill can never be hidden. Acts chapter 11, 25 and 20 says, so Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a great many people, and, the, and in Antioch the disciples were first called Christians. We want to pray, because it is only light and salt that can transform this world. Nothing else will do. We are praying tonight that the beauty of Jesus Christ all will be seen in our church members more than ever before. That the Lord, the church is like a city set on a hill. It must bring change. It must bring transformation to society. We want to lift up prayer tonight. We want to pray for that grace that we will influence with our saltiness in the political arena, the social arena, the workplaces, the marketplaces, the schools. Let the fragrance of Jesus Christ be seen. Let the light of the Jesus Christ shine. Let the beauty of Jesus Christ affect our community. Let the love of Christ change our world. We are praying that the Christocentric values will not remain in the church rooms, but it will be seen everywhere. Who will influence every sphere across the nations, across the globe, across nations, across cities, across towns. Lift up your voice. Let us begin to pray. Let's rest prayer tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Shut up. 
Manifestation of your spirit. We pray for the anointing, a new anointing that will break every yoke. Oh Lord, we pray for open doors in the name of Jesus. And we pray for, oh Lord, that your beauty will be seen in every sphere of life, that your name will be glorified, the word will be worn for you, and your name will be glorified. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for establishing your word and for hearing our prayers in Jesus' mighty name. And everyone shall. I say amen. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. We still want to continue to pray. In this session, we are dealing with three prayer topics. We are praying for the upcoming politicians' conference to attract key personalities and also to serve as a catalyst for transformation of our nation. Then again, we shall pray for the various ministry interventions of Vision 2023 to make the desired impact. Then finally, we shall pray for God's guidance for vision 2028. First prayer topic I read from Isaiah chapter 32, verses 1 to 13. Isaiah 32, 1 to 13. See, a king will reign in righteousness. Rulers will rule with justice. Each one will be like a shelter from the wind and a refuge from the storm. Like streams of water in the desert. And the shadow of a great rock in a testy land. Then the eyes of those who see will no longer be closed. The eyes of those who see will no longer be closed. And the ears of those who hear will listen. People of God, the prophet talks about kings and rulers. He talks about lawmakers. People in high places. Then he also talks about how they are supposed to rule. And how are they supposed to rule? Rule in righteousness. Then he continued to say that as they rule in righteousness, they will become like shelter from the wind and a refuge of storm. I pray in the name of Jesus that through this politicians conference, may our politicians become like a shelter. May they become like refuge for the storm in the name of Jesus. And he said they will become like streams of water on the desert, like a great rock in a testy land. The eyes of those who see will no longer be closed and the ears of those who hear will listen. This is powerful. People of God, we are praying. We are asking God to attract key personalities. And may God minister to them all. We are praying that they will leave PCC and become a shelter for the wind. And they will become a storm. They will become a refuge for the storm. We are praying that God will minister to them. 
May they leave PCC revived. May they leave PCC empowered. May they leave PCC with a new mandate. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray? Shall we pray? Yes, Lord. We pray, Lord. Commit to the politicians' conference into your hands. We'll lift up our voice. May this one be the life changing. May it be the beginning of the transformation. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, may your 
people of God become a shelter. May the eyes of the understanding be on below. May a new one be planted in your heart. May a new seed, a fresh seed, fresh fire, fresh seed, a bread in law. New burdens, new burdens, new passes be released through this conference in the name of Jesus to begin as a catalyst for the transformation of our nation. Ayakapa, Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. This is a strategic move. This is a strategic move. The Lord is assembling people in high places, rulers in the name of Jesus. May the Lord minister to them. Passing and burden is going to be released onto your people, and they will become a 
God's refuge in times of storms. In the name of Jesus. We want to take our second prayer topic. And we are praying for the various ministry interventions of Vision 2023. Although it is in this last lab, we want the maximum impact. And I read from Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. Then said the Lord to me, you have seen well. I am alert and active and watching over every word of mine. People of God, God is still watching over this in 2023. He is alert and he's active. The word of God can be the mind of God to a generation. And we believe and we know that possessing the nation's agenda is the mind of God. We know that through this vision and missionary ministry interventions and rich groups are being rich. Amen. Lives are being touched. Yes. The impact of the church is being felt. Yes. People of God, we are praying in the name of Jesus, Jesus. for grace upon this vision. Yes. Ministry yes. interventions of vision 2023 yes. to make the desired impact. Yes. Shall we lift up our voice? Yes. Shall we lift up our voice? Yes, Lord. Yes. Oh God. You are faithful God. You become with us. This in 2023. It's your own idea. It is your mindset. Barreka. Yebolo kapa. Libra kapa dosa. Iyele da 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 dosa. Baka pa di di ya kapa. Ayente de de kapa. Mani ba sote kapa. Mani da 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 da. In the name of Jesus, we pray for grace for ministry interventions. In the name of Jesus. For VC 2023, let grace and the call in the name of Jesus. Banrika Panama, we pray for home and ever missions. We pray for ministry to persons with disabilities. We pray for schools outreach in the name of Jesus. Marreka Pen, Iya Teke Teke, Baramana Bada Bada, Bora Bosa, Libro Kopodo, Iya Pade Sawa, Baramaka Paniata, Libro Koto. Oh 
Medium sex love. I am a You are faithful God. You led our fathers in our generation. We have seen you lead our God. Continue to lead our God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We heard of how you led our forebears. In our generation, we have seen with our eyes how you are leading your church. Lord, continue to lead. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. amen. We continue to appreciate leadership for the space given tonight to continue with our intercessory prayer. And the last lab is what we are looking at. Tonight, we are going to pray on these three key areas. One, praying for the healing of sick ministers and wives. We have to stand in the gap, intercede on their behalf. And they also pray for the healing, restoration, and return of ministers on medical leave. We pray that God will restore them and bring them back to the fold. We also pray lastly, for the healing of our sick members many of our members are sick and as we have this opportunity to stand in the gap we pray that god will touch them tonight i believe that tonight somebody will receive his healing Amen. yeah everybody watching get ready for tonight is your night Amen. you see this jesus we talk about everything about him is healing the name is healing the blood is healing. His word is healing. So everything about him is healing. And so expect nothing but the touch of Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Want to read from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse number 24, to begin with our intercessory prayer. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. And the key expression here is that by his wounds, Amen. you have been healed. Amen. By his wounds, Amen. by his wounds, Amen. by his wounds, Amen. you have been healed. Amen. Healed already. Amen. This thing was accomplished on the cross. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus gave his body he was bruised. He was whipped at the back. So that when we are sick, we could be healed. And yeah. tonight, Jesus is about to touch a soul. Yeah. Jesus is about to touch somebody. Yeah. And your healing will manifest tonight. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, we want to, if you can stand, let's be upstanding. As we sing this song, we'll take our first prayer point. Praying for our sick ministers. We want to pray that God will touch them wherever they are. Hallelujah. Those at the various hospitals, those in their homes, wherever they are. Yes. See, when it comes to healing, there's, there's, no, there's no space. I mean, wherever we pray, as we command the word of God, healing will take place. Amen. I believe tonight, somebody will be healed. Amen. A minister is going to be healed. Amen. A minister's wife is going to be healed. Jesus. Me name sa wo yang wang wang ni. Me name sa wo yang wang wang ni. Aya risafu jifu ahoti ni. Hey, me name sa wo yang wang wang ni. Aya risafu jifu ahoti ni.
spirit that rest from the dead. Listen, guys, let them put your bodies be quick tonight in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 Behold I will bring to it health and healing I will heal them the Lord promises to heal and so we are confirming the word of God that every minister of the gospel who is sick right now wherever they are let this prayer locate them in the name of Jesus we are speak the word let's speak the word let this prayer locate them bring healing God promises to heal let you take place let you take place let you take place let it take place let it take place let it take place let it take place in the name of Jesus verse 15 we are told that prayer of faith will heal the one who is sick yes. and the Lord will raise the sick up Amen. Amen. the Lord himself yes. will raise them up Amen. tonight we want to confirm the word Jesus. that every minister who is on medical leave Jesus. let God arise Amen. Let God locate them. Amen. Let this prayer locate them. Amen. May God raise them up Amen. and bring them back to the fold Amen. to continue with ministry. Amen. Lift up prayer. Amen. Lift up prayer. Amen. Yes, Lord. Raise your people up. Raise them 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 up. Raise your people up. In the name of Jesus. Raise them up! 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 Raise them
Those who have been admitted Jesus. want to speak the word. Yes. We are speaking the word. Amen. We are speaking the word. Yes. Psalm 41, verse 3. The Lord sustains him on a sick bed, and in his illness, you restore him to full health. Amen. Full health. Amen. It means that the Lord is able to cure every disease. Every infirmity, we are praying for our numerous members who are sick. Some are watching, some are praying with us. But tonight, the assurance is that you are healed. Amen. Oh, come on! I said, somebody is healed tonight. Amen. Wherever you are, Jesus. you are healed tonight. Amen. We are sending for this prayer Amen. into our health institutions, Amen. into our homes. Amen. Into the homes of our church Jesus. members, those who are bedridden, Jesus. may the Lord raise them up. Amen. Those who have incurable Jesus. diseases, may the Lord heal them. Amen. Terminal sicknesses, Jesus. may the Lord heal them. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. send for prayer. Jesus. Send for prayer. Send for prayer. Jesus. Send for prayer. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, raise prayer for our members who are sick. For our we are praying for members who are sick in the name of Jesus. Every disease that has name, every disease that has name, must bow to the name of Jesus. Every member we say, every member we say, every member we say, sickness unto death. Oh God, we speak for the healing. We speak for the healing. You said we we'll lay our hands on the sick. And they shall recover. Let them be recovered. Let us sick be healed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Master Kate. Randa da 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 da. Sanduri da da da. Kaya da da da. Sukataya. Rekate. Let us sick be healed. In the name of Jesus. Let us sick be healed. Oh Lord. Let us sick be healed. By your word. Let him in the place. Let him in the place. In the name of Jesus, let your people be healed. We speak for the healing. We speak for the healing. We send for your word to go and heal, to go and restore. Every member, every member, every member who is watching in the hall, in our home institution, Father, send for your word to heal. You want to do it. In the name of Jesus, my son, the name of the Lord, 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 the 
the virtue in your words and speak forth healing into the sick bodies of our members in the name of Jesus. Master Kete, Zeleve Kaba, Shagala Baraba, Ranta Raba Baria, Ibarra Shagala Bosana Raba, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, heal, Lord, heal, Lord, heal, Lord, heal, Lord, heal, in the name of Jesus. Master Kete, I humbly ask that we raise up our hands. Jesus. Let the lifting up of our hands Jesus. touch every member who is sick. Jesus. Jesus. Wherever they are, yes. Jesus. we are speaking for the word of God, yes. which says that by his wounds yes. we've been healed. Amen. Amen. Tonight, Jesus. Every sickness that has named. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every affliction. Jesus. Let every infirmity. Jesus. Let every disease unto death. Jesus. Leave your people. Amen. Right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every affliction. Jesus. Every disease. Jesus. Incurable ones. Jesus. Terminal ones. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let there be healing. Amen. We diffuse Jesus. healing into the atmosphere. Jesus. We diffuse Jesus. healing into homes Amen. and hospitals. Amen. Touch your people. Amen. Touch your sick. Amen. You went about doing good. Jesus. Healing all that were oppressed Jesus. by the devil. Jesus. If any sickness, Jesus. the spirit behind any sickness, Jesus. afflicting your people, Jesus. we rebuke that kind of spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let healing take place. Jesus. Right now. Yes. You are watching. Jesus. You are praying with us. Jesus. You are healed. Jesus. Yes. yes. The healing virtue of God Jesus. is coming out of this studio. It's entering into every room. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive a touch. Amen. Receive a touch. Amen. Now receive a touch. Amen. Sister, receive a touch. Amen. Papa, receive a touch. Amen. You are watching. Jesus. You are at the hospital. Jesus. You are being raised up. Jesus. You are being lifted up. Jesus. You are healed. Amen. You are healed. Amen. You are healed. Amen. You are healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you were not able to do Jesus. that thing which you used to do, Begin to do it right now. Amen. Begin to make one step. Amen. The Lord has touched you. Yes. Lift up yourself Jesus. from the bed. Jesus. Lift up that hand Jesus. which is aching. Jesus. Turn that neck Amen. which is aching. Jesus. You are healed. Amen. You are healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We call it done. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And Father, as we pray for the healing of the sick, we lift our sister comfort to cut to you and pray that there shall be healing yes. in her Jesus. body even right now. Yes, Lord. Let her testify to your healing oh, presence. Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, yes, let her body Jesus. respond Amen. to the healing power of God. Amen. May she be set free yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We give you thanks, we give you glory yes, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Dearly beloved, once again, we are grateful to God for the opportunity to be gathered in his presence and for this moment of prayer. And we are confident that the Lord has heard us. He has answered us. Hallelujah. Amen. Once say God bless you to Dickness Barbara Saturday, Apostle Joseph Finsaki of Canada, Pastor Pascal Asiedu of Wessels, and then Pastor Ajay Nimako Dakwa Kaneshi, District Pastor, for leading us in the various segments of today's program. Dearly beloved, God bless you wherever you are for joining us.
today to pray. I want to encourage us, if Christ tarries, next week Tuesday will be 27th of June. We will meet same time to pray. Let's make the time. Let us pray. The Lord indeed will visit our world. The Lord will do mighty works in response to prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall you pray? Gracious God our Father, we thank you that you are a covenant keeping God. You are a prayer answering God. You are a miracle working God. You are a wonder. And oh God, even as we have lifted our voices to you in prayer, you have heard us and you have granted our request. The nations have become like twigs in your presence and by your spirit like fire you have consumed. You have taken over the nations and we will know and experience your move as never before. All over the world, our globe is in your hands. Set it on fire by your spirit. Move as never before, O Lord. And let the nations acknowledge the Lordship of Christ, our Lord. Father Lord, may you mantle everyone connected to this platform. May you mantle all who are praying this time with us. With the grace to pray. With the mantle of intercession. May this high ministry, O God, of the Christian faith, even the ministry of intercession, be our portion. May you enlist us into your army, the army of intercessors, that will move and shake our world for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. We are confident in you, O God, that your church will continue to march forward and your church will do excellently. The world will know that there is a force on earth which is incomparable to any. Your church, because your church is a praying church. And as we live pray unto you, you move all over the world. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord keep you. Amen. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. And be gracious unto you. As you intercede for his church and for the nations. May the Lord meet your every need. Amen. According to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. May he lift you from one level of glory unto another. Amen. And may the church of God march forward in the power of his spirit. May we soar higher Amen. on the wings of the spirit. Yes. And may we possess nations in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you so, so much for making the time. God bless you. Bye-bye. Today.